Now, molality. What I want you to do, look at the formula. Yeah. First thing I would like you to do on here is make sure you identify that it's moles of kilograms. solute kilograms of solvent. Those are two. I know, but just as a reminder, it helps to actually write it down on that paper so you can remember. The key being that the moles of solute is pretty easy to figure out. The kilograms of solvent is easy to figure out. The challenge is simply identifying what's what. So if we look at this, how many grams of KCl must be dissolved in 255 grams of water to prepare a 0.445 molal solution? Remember that little m represents molality. So you might want to make a little note of that, that little m is molality and big M is equal to molarity. There is a difference. You have to know the difference. Well, molality is this formula. Molarity is the formula moles over liters. Because there's many different ways to represent the concentration. Yes, to a certain extent, yeah. Now, which of these things is the solute? <laughs> yes. So KCL is the solute, water is the solvent. In general, every time you do this problem or a problem like this, water is the solvent. Please know that. So all you're going to do, we need to have moles over kilograms. Now, the question is, well, the question is here, we have 255 grams of water. That's our solvent. So we can convert 255 grams to kilograms pretty easily. I mean, you could really just move the decimal over, you know, three spots and you get 0.255 kilograms of your solvent. However, what are we being asked to solve for here? We're being asked in this case to solve for grams of KCL. Now what that means is this. How out of here are we going to get to the grams of the solute? Say it again, Nadine. Yes. So it's a two-step process. Find the moles, then go to mass. Now, if you look at your little formula here, you have 0.445 M. So 0.445 will get plugged in for M right there. That'll be equal to moles over your kilograms of solvent, which is 0.255. And then we will solve for moles of solute. Now to do that really simply, you just multiply by 0.255, those cancel. And this should come out to be something. What does it come out to be? So you get 0.113 moles. Now, remember that your solute is KCl. So you've got to take that 0.113 moles of KCl and you've got to convert it to, to grams. So you take 0.113 moles of KCl. And then KCl is 74.55 grams. And that'll equal to 0.1. There you go. So that is a molality problem. Did it say equal Yeah. Now these can be presented to you in any way, shape, or form. You might be solving for little m, you might be solving for moles. You might be solving for kilograms. It's just whatever the problem wants. You got to read it, figure it out. That's part of that's the challenge. The rest of it's easy.
All right. So that's molality. Let's go down to the next section now, which is uh, percent by mass. Now, notice this is asking, what is the percent by mass of a solution prepared by dissolving 0.45 grams of KCl and 25 grams of water? Well, this is really easy. This is like the easiest one we got. This just wants to know what the percentage of the total mass is a solute. So, which one of these is our solute again? 4.50 that is our solute. Our solvent is always water, every time. Now, this wants mass of solute, so all you do is you take 4.5 grams of KCl. You put that over. It wants the total mass. What will the total mass of this thing be? 29.5, yes, because it'll be 4.5 grams plus 25 grams of the solute and the solvent together, which gives you 29.5 grams. So you do all that, and then you multiply it by 100, and that'll give you your percentage of the mass of the solute. What does it come out to be? What is it, Sam? All right, are there any questions on the percent by mass thing? That's, that, I feel, is, is pretty darn straightforward and simple. All you got to do is just figure out masses. Make sure you do the total mass. It's really easy to not do the total mass and instead just do the solute or the solvent. Don't forget. All right, next. <clears throat> Last and most important. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Now, last and by far the most important thing is the molarity. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Now, not all of it, though. Now, molarity is by far number one. It's going to be on your test. It's going to be on all your quizzes. It's going to be assumed that you can do this. The formula is big M is equal to moles over liters. These are just like variables. So all you got to do, what is the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 2.5 grams of KCl in 100 milliliters of solution? Well, first off, moles. We got to convert that to moles, right? To get moles to plug in. Liters, we got to convert that to liters. You must make sure your units are correct. So 2.5 kilograms or grams of KCl, and then we've got 74.55 grams KCl, one mole KCl. Do that math, you end up with. Uh, what is it? So moles of KCl. Now, you take that, you put it on top, so your molarity will be equal to 0 0.034 moles KCl. Now, what goes on the bottom? Well, you got to convert 100 milliliters to liters. I hope by now you've established, you can just move that decimal over three places, so it's 0 0.1 liters. What does that come out to be? Well, now, here's the thing. So the unit. The unit is moles over liters. But what we do, what this is actually telling us would be to say we have 0 0.335 molar solution of KCl. 
Now, the unit is molarity. It's, it's a unit as well as a, a formula that you use. So it, when we say we have a concentration, we're saying we have a 0.335 molar uh, potassium chloride solution. Now, what this tells us is that for every 0.335 moles of KCl, there is one liter of H2O. So it doesn't seem like it's telling you that much information, but just that little bit, because if you remember molarity is moles over liters, you remember water is the solvent, you're actually able to figure out quite a bit from this simple thing. And you will have to, by the way. So, are there any questions on that? No.